come in step inside the world of the german boss aka the bmw x5 now this car i can tell you for a fact it is every boy's dream because bmw makes the ultimate driving machine the x5 was the first true sporty crossover cutouts of bmw and they've continued to enhance that program everybody followed range so what's so different with this brand new x5 and i tell you for a fact bmw continues to ensure that this car still has that bmw heritage so you can see it's a easy on the eye design of course as you can see it's flowing and then it's the driver centric angle so the driver has full view full command view of whatever is happening here so let's start with the center console as you can see here now this tablet style design is amazing because now bmw has gone for the full hd screen so guys let's start with this particular system now on this we're going to start with the main audio system and when i mean audio system this is the proper Harman Kardon. Let's just listen to something. You know, I don't like saying. Listen to this. So that that is the sound. But you can still control the volume analogly or through gesture and motion control. Watch. Magic. Wow. So you can do that, controlling your gestures, different gestures, of course. And of course, if you want to change stations, like now, I can do this. So like this, or this and it changes so that is gesture control that is how bmw has ensured that this particular car meets to the 21st century and of course adapts the modern ai technology and that is not possible if you don't have advanced electronics courtesy of bmw yeah, right below the this center console has the climate control which is dual zone it allows you to have different temperature settings of course on the left and right so the passenger can have his own the driver can have his own as well and also at the back over here and obviously you do have seat warmers and coolers so temperatures ranging from five degrees all the way to 55 degrees the gearbox console over here has plenty of buttons looks like a space shuttle so many of these things obviously do have this particular rotary navigation that allows you to control the multi information display you do have also the gear shift lever it's a joystick it's a traditional bmw below this particular rotary button is the air suspension control system for easy entry and exit you can control it and you can leave it on automatic mode and if you go off-road then you flick on the x x drive mode so it allows the suspension to raise up the car so you're able to go through the rocks and uh different sections of bad surfaces courtesy of the x5 again you, you do have electronic park brake control you have obviously now your safety system so electronic stability controller standard park assist and then you do have start stop functionality as standard in this particular car and then you do have the sporty settings of the car the gearbox settings so your sport comfort eco pro and adaptive you have eight way automatically adjusted seats which are electronic by the way and if you want memory you do you can control them on the memory that's on the door so if you have two drivers who want to drive this particular car one can switch put their settings and lock and then when you get in you can actually decide to sense that this is a different driver and to select or you can manually just select one button and to just automatically configure to your height and preference I'm with the BMW guru in the country, Mr. Joji. He's seen the BMW progress in Kenya for many years, and now we have the brand new X5. Karibu sana to the show. Asante sana. Now, there's one subtle feature or features that I want you to show me. Um, pack, uh, it's called assist, pack, pack assist. The pack assist. Uh huh. And the reverse assistance. Okay, so we belt up first. Yes, please. So we're in the parking, and this is one of the things that we normally say. Sometimes parking becomes a hassle for some people. So BMW has made it easier for you to park your car very easily so we're gonna start so show me now just walk me through the feature now right what we need to do the car is running now uh -huh. let's get into drive okay and let's locate a parking spot okay okay good it's on drive it's good day. and it pops down maybe we go that side oh, yeah, go this way it might be better boss guys can you hear that purring of that six cylinder <laughs> 
straight six power. I think there might be one here. Okay. So what we need to do is um perhaps just reverse again uh -huh. and just align yourself onto the left oh. side of the car. Okay, we're gonna okay. do that. We're gonna reverse. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then come closer to this parking. Okay. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna activate the park assist. Uh-huh. Okay, and you're gonna hit your indicator on your left. Move a bit close on this side. Okay. And let's go pole pole. Hit it again on your left. Let's go, just continue just going straight. Just go straight. Mm -hmm. Trying to sense the parking whether whether she can fit there. Just go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on. We start to come to a stop. Okay. Right. To park, select a parking space. Mm -hmm. she's, she's not, yes, now hit the P. Take your foot off the brake uh -huh. and the steering. Leave everything. Put your foot, nothing, nothing. Don't touch anything. Don't brake. Don't do nothing. Look at that, guys. My foot is off the brake. This car is literally sensing the direction of the parking and it is engaging gears forward, backwards. I'm not even pressing anything. Look. Now, this is how accurate this system is because it allows you to park in tight spaces if you're not too uh, keen on parking very accurately and it shows you the level of automation BMW has in these cars. I can tell you for a fact that this is one of those subtle features that makes a BMW a BMW, a proper technological car. And that's it guys, look, listen, I mean it's packed completely full, packed, still meets pack, I can get out, there's enough space on the left and right I can get out. Wow, Georgie, amazing. Thank Next you. one, reverse assistant. Reverse assistant. Now what we're gonna do uh -huh. is this car will memorize this parking. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do is hit the reverse assistant switch. Okay. Then assume you assume you're driving, just drive out. I just drive out as normal. Drive out to your right, to your left, whichever way you want to go. Let's go this way. Yeah. Huh? Drive on, drive on, drive on. And then drive and on. then we'll and turn then say, we'll yeah. turn left. Yeah, T turn here. Okay. And say stop. Okay. Okay? Stopped guys. Uh -huh. On this one, you'll have to use your you, you'll have to use the brake. Okay. Okay. Sure. So get the car into reverse. Okay. Then reverse now, and let let go. Control with only with the brake. Okay. Guys, it has mapped my route out of the parking, so I'm getting back into the parking. My only work is just to brake slowly, and it's telling you the distance, how, how far to how many meters to go. Wow. So right now I'm 50 meters from the parking, as it remembers my route back into the parking space and it is it will accurately turn the steering wheel it's unbelievable look at that into the same parking and as i get closer i'm 4.1 meters it warns me over the audible sound and it parks accurately it tells me end of route will be reached shortly 2.5 meters as i hold on the brake 1.9, 1.8. Look at the steering wheel. 3, 2, 1. Voila! Gosh. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm excited. This is, I'm like a kid. This is like amazing, isn't it? Tech, tech. So important to, to have this. Join me at the back here, back left because this is a luxury SUV and uh, this is the place to be, to be very honest. I know Tava wanted to drive in the front here, but vast majority of guys who own these cars are going to be in this seat that I'm in right now. And oh my God, what a seat. This is covered in Napa leather and it's fantastic, it's incredible. All the materials here are premium. This leather is fantastic. This plastic is actually soft to touch at the top here, at the bottom, there's wood inlet over here. It feels, and it feels premium and it feels very, very comfortable. This generation of X5 has a longer wheelbase than the outgoing version, so there's more legroom at the back here. And one thing that they've done that's really nice is this transmission tunnel in the middle is actually not too intrusive, so somebody can sit here in the middle and be very comfortable. So three adults can sit in the back and they'll be fantastic. Speaking of three adults, there's enough power for three adults at the back here because in addition to one 12 volt socket for the person in the middle, you have two USB-Cs, one in each seat, and then you have this accessory rail here what this does is that it allows you to put additional things into the back of the seat so you can actually put a coat hanger you can put a hook or you can put a holder for an ipad which will be charged by these usb c chargers that are in the back here so in the middle here 
is additional storage in the middle here and cup holders cup holders also in the door and additional storage in the door and then because this is clearly business class you have an air, aircraft style uh, place to store stuff in the back here and this basically is really genuinely a nice place to be in but let's just check out how practical this is and go to the boot and check out the boot Coming round to the boot of the BMW X5 and you see a view that most people who are seeing the X5 are going to see that engine is spectacular. You're only going to be seeing the back over here. Very nice design over here with this 3D effect uh, rear lights. But the party trick over here is not only an automatic boot but the fact that it's a split tailgate. Really big boot, very a lot of stuff, a lot of space that's available here and there is so much going on over here. We have tie down hooks, we have a 12 volt socket and one of the things I really like is the fact that this space over here, uh, there's no spare tire because this has run flats. So there's additional space over here. And as you can see, it's dumped. It's actually almost like a bonnet. In addition to all of that, the, the rear of the car can actually lower itself to make it easier for you to put stuff into and out of the car. This partial shelf can also be stored over here, below over here. So there's actually a lot of functionality in this boot. So let's check out this car on the road. So this right now is the final stage of the body shop. This is just after the final buyout has been done. They're doing it called, it's called picking to paint. This is right now what in the automotive industry is called a body in white. That's before the painting has been done. So based on the sequence number of each individual vehicle, it's going to be picked up in this area and taken to the paint shop. And the paint is going to depend on the sequence number and what the customer ordered. And then like Trevor said, ship down to Durban, up to South, up to East Africa, and you see it in the showroom in TMC in Nairobi. So what's happening on your left right now is something called the marriage. What's happening in the factory right now is that they're connecting the engine to the chassis. Ford makes the engines from scratch in their facility in Port Elizabeth. They are shipped over here. They are connected to the gearbox. It comes in over an overhead crane, and then it is brought down and married with the chassis. At this point, you have the, the chassis of the, of the Ford itself. It goes forward to the next stage where the body lies on the chassis. So when you hear about a car being body on frame, this is the frame, the body is going to be put on top of this. Now we've seen the Ranger now being uh, trimmed, now it's properly done. When it comes to this particular section here, they do wheel alignment. They use state-of-the-art laser technology to ensure that the Ranger came back, caster adjustment is just perfect. Now when you're driving the Ranger on Pika Road or Mombasa Road, you feel right at home because you feel stable and it is quite, quite comfortable. Now, after that, we now move to the next segment, now where it's done on the dynamic rolling chassis, where they check all the components, if the vehicle can reach the top speed and if it needs adjustment, it is done therefore accordingly. So that is very important on this process. Now, after this particular segment, we go to the water test where they check the seals, the effectiveness of the seals. So they've got to put it on a shower. So water is placed on the car. It simulates a rainy condition. So there'll be a lot of water going into the car. And then after that, the inspectors will now come out and check if there's any water getting into the engine compartment, the cabin, and of course, the different places within the car. So that is very important. So we're going to see that and then now head out to the Ratsons Creek, which is basically the last section just to confirm that the vehicle is fantastic for Nairobi. So guys, you've just seen how these vehicles have been tested on the, on the rumble strips and now we can confirm that this particular car has passed the quality control check and ready to be shipped all the way to Durban onto a ship all the way to Mombasa, Kenya, on a carrier all the way to CMC Motors in Nairobi on the showroom. And you're gonna see the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Track ready for you. Either the Ranger or the Wild Track, they all build on the same line, but it's been an honor and a good experience at the Ford Silverton plant where we're able to see how these cars are built from scratch. Quality is very key and very important. And because of Big Boy Trap, we'd like to thank Ford Motor Corporation South Africa for giving us this opportunity to see how these cars are built from start to finish.
it's a beautiful day we're out here and you've seen the subtle features of the bmw gesture control harman kardon this x5 it's on top of its game but now we want to feel and understand is this car the ultimate driving suv this is the x40i version it's a three liter straight six producing 250 kilowatts that's 340 horsepower and 450 newton meters enough to accelerate like this there you go and you can feel the turbos kicking in the sequential turbo that the big one has taken in and i'm doing 106 kilometers an hour the suspension has just stiffened up you can feel the throttle is sharp the gear, the gear shift is shifting now i'm on fourth to fifth to sixth now and it feels flat out and all the car gives you is the enjoyment the thrill the throttle is so sharp it's at your back and call and the brakes my friends if you need stopping power then this is a proper bmw it takes on the corners as if it's a flat surface i can tell you for a fact that this is something else guys i'm not even done i'm just gonna do this is like part one okay so we're gonna go up the hill after this bump and my DOP scared. Listen to that wheel. That is the power of a straight six. Inline six is a tradition of BMW. BMW are synonymous with the inline six. It's not a BMW if it's not an inline six. Yes, I know there are four cylinders on the X2 and other variants, and they're all good and they're fantastic. But the true heart and soul of a BMW is the inline six. It's turbocharged and it's sequential turbocharging whereby one turbo kicks in at low rpm and then one boost is reached then the other one opens up and the response is devastating like now listen to that Go driving this car in the city surroundings like we do it's very good the level of noise suppression the amount of sound deadening that's been put on the firewall on the doors everywhere even on the transmission tunnel makes this car very quiet the suspension double wishbones at the front to give that maximum agility and at the back you have a multi-link system which has the z axle which is propriety with bmw now z axle allows you to handle and drive this car like a madman and still maintain composure talking about safety it's important in this day and age you want you and your family to be safe on the road so the bmw x5 has a raft of safety features both active and passive active systems are basically helping you to avoid an accident so your anti-lock braking system your dynamic stability control your cornering braking control your like all the acronyms you can ever think of those ones help you avoid an accident but if all hell breaks loose then you can rely on the eight airbags that surround this particular car including 13 ones you can rely on the five star safety rating the shell that dissipates impact energy away from the passenger cell into the chassis and of course the most important thing the safety belt never leave this out You want to carry your family and not to scare them. The X5 is the car for you. I can tell you for a fact I'm doing 150 kilometers an hour. It doesn't feel that way because it's so reassuring. And this is why it's called the ultimate driving machine. So this generation of the BMW X5 is the first one to be fitted with X-Drive off-road pack. Now the off-road pack usually has been under body protection. This has that. And then in addition to that, it has an X-Drive off-road package. And that's four different modes to help you have maximum traction in any situation you find yourself in. Also, this has air suspension. And one of the advantages of that is before we set out, I am actually going to raise the car so that I have better ground clearance. Now, this car can actually raise up to 80 millimeters to give you that better ground clearance for the times that you're going off the road. So now, I'm going to set rocks. And off we go. So one of the amazing things about this air suspension is that it gives you a really fantastic ride even when you're off the road. We've taken this now to our usual off-road track here in Limuru where we tested the Nissan Navara, we tested the Ford Everest and we did some stuff here with the Ford Ranger and this is a very challenging track. So most of the owners of our BMW X5 are not going to be doing very hardcore serious off-roading but it's important with a car this size to be able to go off the road occasionally.
we've just gone over a section that's being built. So this might not have a low range gear, but it does have enough grunt, especially now at these low speeds when we are going off the road. Bit of a tricky section here, so I'm slowing down. And would you look at that? It's just done it. Ah, oh, man. This is just a wonderful place to be when you're off the road. So, I think this has handled itself really well. Let's go to Valley for Money. So guys, we've just had an interactive session with the BMW X5. Mr. Mirigi, I cannot explain how the weight of the straight six feels when you press the accelerator. But first things first, let's talk about the rivals. What are the key rivals? Starting in Germany, we're looking at the Mercedes-Benz GLE and the Bosch Cayenne. Then you can cross the pond Kidogo to where the King and the Queen chill. And you have the Range Rover Sport as one of the main competitors for this vehicle. And guys, remember it also comes with a five-year, 200,000 kilometer warranty, a fast for such a premium model, and yeah. a five-year, 6,000 kilometer service plan, which you can get, giving you absolute peace of mind. Mr. Miriki, how much does it cost? Well, prices for this start at 13.5 million shillings. The reason I'm saying start is because this particular model has additional custom features, so you have to make sure that you talk to these guys. They can add some leather, they can add some wood trim, they can add some chrome. It's all up to you how you want to feel in this car. You can make it your own. Guys, sadly, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us on Cars the Big Boy Tribe as always. It's a pleasure and an honor. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. And we'll get back to you on the next episode. Signing out, this is Big Boy Trev. This is Murigi. Drive safe and be safe. <laughs>